Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Hello learners. Welcome to Manifested e-learning platform. I'm your teacher Monique Nyaga. I'm teaching you chemistry. Our topic is still energy changes in physical and chemical processes. And in our previous lesson, we discussed energy level diagrams in endothermic reactions. Where we say that in endothermic reactions, the amount of energy the products have is higher than the amount of energy the reactants have. Because in the course of the experiment, or in the course of the reaction, there's gain of heat from the surrounding. In this lesson, we are going to uh, illustrate exothermic reactions using uh, energy level diagrams. So what you should understand by the end of this lesson is that you should be able to draw exothermic, uh, exothermic reaction energy level diagrams or drawing exothermic or illustrating uh, exothermic reactions using energy level diagrams. So the subtopic is energy levels, energy level diagrams. And we are discussing exothermic exothermic reactions. Remember in our previous lessons, we said that an exothermic reaction is a reaction which involves loss of heat to the surrounding. So heat is lost to the surrounding. Therefore, when you're drawing energy level diagrams, you expect that the energy of the reactants is going to be higher than energy of the product because some of this energy has been lost to the surrounding. So I want to show you how you can illustrate an exothermic reaction using an energy level diagram. So just like we did in endothermic reactions, then on the y-axis you have the energy, then on the x-axis you have the reaction the reaction progress. So reaction progress, again, which can be, the reaction is taking place, the reaction in this case is dissolving sodium hydroxide because this is what we use to demonstrate an exothermic reaction. So the reaction is taking place, and the reaction is dissolving sodium hydroxide solid in, in water. Then the energy can be measured in in joules. Therefore, we have said that the energy of the reactants, and our reactants in this case, is sodium hydroxide. So let's say the energy, then I will explain it further. So it is sodium hydroxide, which is a solid, dissolving it in, in water, which is a liquid. So the amount of that energy in that reactants is higher. Therefore, at the end of the experiment, you have sodium, sodium hydroxide solution. So it is aqueous. So aqueous means it is a solution. So after you put or after you mix sodium hydroxide solid and water, you get sodium hydroxide solution. So if you check, or if you are drawing a graph, so you are starting at point zero for this graph. 
So let's say it's now the scale is 0, then 10, 20, 30, 40, and something like 50, like that. Though it, we are not drawing it to scale, then it's just a demonstration purpose. You're looking at the amount of or the amount of energy of the reactants. Our reactants, which are sodium hydroxide and water, the, the energy, or they have 50 joules of energy. They're having 50 joules of energy. And our product, which is sodium hydroxide solution, has an energy. So if you can extrapolate that, then they have around 20 joules of energy. So you can see that the energy of the reactants is higher than the energy of the product. Therefore, there is loss of energy to the surrounding. And this is the energy which was being lost when we did this illustration using sodium hydroxide solid, mixing it with water and stirring it. That mixture, you stir it using a thermometer. Then when you recorded or when you recorded the temperature of the resulting solution, then we found that the temperature is higher than the temperature of the distilled water, which you measured initially. Therefore, this shows that there is loss of heat to the surrounding. The temperature of water was lower than the temperature of the resulting solution, showing that heat has been lost to the surrounding. So that is now to demonstrate an exothermic reaction. So this energy level diagram, it is an illustration of dissolving. So dissolving sodium hydroxide dissolving sodium hydroxide in, in water. So when you dissolve sodium hydroxide in water, you expect some heat to be lost. So heat is in form of, all this energy is in form of heat which is lost to the surrounding. And that's why there is decrease in the amount of energy of the products. So our product is sodium hydroxide and our reactant is sodium hydroxide and water, which you have. Therefore, then that is a simple way of illustrating an exothermic reaction in the form of an energy level diagram. Therefore, make sure that you can be able to draw an energy level diagram to illustrate an exothermic reaction. And I've given you a good example of how you can be able to, to do that. Therefore, that is our lesson. Then I will leave you with this question or this assignment. The assignment is is defined an exothermic reaction or an exothermic find an exothermic reaction and illustrate and illustrate it using an energy level energy level diagram. So define an exothermic reaction and illustrate it using an energy level diagram like we just did using sodium hydroxide in the water, then energy coming down a bit. Thank you for attending this lesson. Thank <laughs> you.